Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this plummy water marble with some Sally Hansen polishes. If you like nail art, be sure you subscribe to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures. And if you'd like to see how I did this design, just stay tuned. Starting out with clean, dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using a Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel-off base. And you can use whichever is your personal favorite. The colors that I'm going to be using today are all Sally Hansen. And this whole color story kind of started when I bought myself a replacement bottle of Babe Blue. Some of you may remember when I just about used my original bottle up during the 12 days of Christmas. And I found these other colors that I think go so nicely with it. We have Jam Sesh. Lacy Lilac, Orchid Around, and Peplum. And I really like the way all these go together. I played around with a few different combinations in my live stream yesterday. And I'll be using White On as my base color. And after I get my base color applied, I'll be protecting around my nails with Simply Peel. As usual for water marbling, I'm working in a 5 ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. And as I mentioned, I played around with these colors a little bit in my live stream yesterday. I tried a few different color combinations out of the five and a few different orders of dripping the colors when using all five as well as a handful of different patterns. If you were there for the live stream, uh, thank you again. I was really nervous, but it was really fun. And if you did not make it to the live stream, it's currently available as a Twitch VOD, and I will be uploading it to my YouTube channel, I think probably tomorrow. So I don't want to overload with too many videos in one day since today I'll be uploading this tutorial. But once I get this final drop in here, I'm just going to go ahead and draw up to the top and then down to the bottom. And this is a little bit uneven here. I'm just going to try and make the center part a little bit skinnier by dipping in there. You can see how that kind of evened it out. Then I'm going to draw in just some very narrow petals or feathers going from one side of the cup to the other using just the very tip of the orange stick and I'm wiping it on the edge of the cup but if you get a little built up on there you can just wipe it off on a paper towel or a napkin which you hopefully have handy. I decided to actually work on my miracle mat today since I had it out from the live stream was kind of just like a safety net just in case I managed to tip over my cup that I wouldn't get water completely over my desk since it has a little uh, lip at the edge. And I thought I might as well use it for the tutorial also. <clears throat> so we've got our design here in the cup. I'm going to be dipping two fingers at the same time to start. I'm going to do, oops, my fingers just got stuck together here. Let me grab a scissors. So if your latex gets stuck together unintentionally, you can kind of just use the scissors to gently cut it apart. Sometimes it's good, kind of helps you keep your fingers in place. Sometimes it's not really what you're looking for. I'm going to line up my uh, index finger and my middle finger and then I'm going to go ahead and slowly, carefully dip in. With my orange stick, I'm going to start cleaning up that excess polish. If it isn't quite dry enough, you can give it a little bit of a blow. But usually, at this point, it's starting to dry out. 
and once the surface is clear so that none of that sticks onto your nails you can slowly pull out and there's the water marble I'm going to move this out of the way very carefully and with a tweezer I'm going to remove this simply peel while the polish is still wet if I can get a good grip here and it's not peeling great today that might have been my application but once I get this off I'm going to attempt to dip my remaining three fingers together we'll see how that goes and then once all of my nails are marbled I'm going to go in and do my normal cleanup If you have any bubbles in your design, you can push those flat after you've done your cleanup. I have a couple like on my index and ring finger here that didn't press flat very neatly, but hopefully the top coat should take care of that. And as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. So here's the finished manicure and I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. You can see most of the colors on most of the nails and a couple little problems I had with bubbles were mostly smoothed out by the top coat. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this one down in the comments. And as far as future live streams, for the moment I'm going to be planning on Saturdays at 2 as being my weekly time. I may add some other times and or some other days as I go forward, but if you want to check me out on Twitch, the link is down in the information box with the rest of my social media. And if you're not sure how to convert my time to your local time zone, there's a little schedule widget right on my Twitch page that will tell you how long it is until my next stream. I hope to see all you guys that were there last time and maybe some new people as well this coming Saturday. And until then, thanks for watching.